Number four hundred seventy-one, 四百七十一。香蕉，香蕉，香蕉 means banana. Banana. Okay, 香蕉。香 first character. Oh, it means smells good. 香蕉 does smells good. And then 蕉 just remember that because we don't usually use these single characters alone. We put them together. To make the word banana, 四百七十二，相同，相同，相同 means same, same, 相同。四百七十三，相信，相信，相信 is to trust, to trust somebody, or to believe something is true. Okay, 相信。Next one, 四百七十四，想，想，想 means to miss or to think. For example, you can say, "Ah,、uh, just put the word here to have more space for my examples." I just to miss somebody. For example, I miss you. You can say, 我想你 Okay, 我想你 It means I miss you, I miss you. Or you can say, um, you can also say, 我我想一下，我想一下。Let's hear. 我想，我想一想，我想一想，想一想。It's the same. I will think about it. I will think about it. So in this case, 想 means to think, to think. 四百七十五，像，像。Xiang means towards, towards. Okay. 向你走来 For example, um, walking, walk towards you. How do we say that? We say, 向你你 means you, right? 向你走 What to walk? 来来 come. 向你走来 ，walk towards you. 向。四百七十六，向。向 is be like. Be like. For example, I、uh, say 我向。Okay, 我向你。我向你。What does that mean? It means I'm like you. I'm like you. Or some people may say this. Um, 你像你爸爸，你，你 ，Oops， 你像你爸爸。Okay, the second character here is wrong. 像 this one. What does that mean? 你 you 像 be like you are like 你爸爸。我你的爸爸 is the same. 你爸爸 your father. So you are like your father. You are like your father. 四百七十七，小，小。The third tone here, third tone, 小。It means small, small. Okay, 小 means small. What about this one? 小人，小人。Small person. Okay, literally it means small person, but it can also refer to the people who are, who are always, um.、Mm, Take advantage of other people, you know, not very ethical. Those people we call them little man, 小人，小人 So not good man, okay, 小人四百七十八，小姐，小姐 So little 姐姐 means elder sister. So little elder sister, it means young lady or miss, miss. For example, you can put the Chinese surname. Doesn't matter what Chinese surname or all kinds of surname in the front. Okay, in the beginning. For example,、um, let's just say a common Chinese surname, Zhang. You can say Zhang 小姐 Zhang 小姐 That means Miss Zhang, Miss Zhang, Zhang 小姐 Be careful when you are looking for when you are looking for Miss Zhang. You have to say, 我我找
张小姐，张名字 ，to um to find to find or to look for. You cannot just say 找小姐 You cannot say this. Sorry, 找名字找 You cannot say this one. So literally, it means look for look for a, a young lady, but it actually means you are looking for a a female sex worker. Okay. Be careful. 四百七十九，小时，小时，小时 means hour, hour, hour. What about minute? You're right. Minute means 分，分。So can we say this? So this is 小时，小时 is hour, right? Can we say 小分，小分。Can we say this? No, we can't. We cannot say this. We can say 小时 but we cannot say 小分 That's just what it is. 四百八十，小心，小心。Small heart, careful. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, 小心，小心 We can also say 当心，当心 It's the same. 当心 Be careful, yeah. Be careful. 四百八十一，笑，笑，笑 means to laugh. To laugh. Okay. Look at this character. Okay, the upper part, upper part. Does it look like the smiling eyes? When you know, when you smile, your eyes turn to be like this. For some people, okay. For some people, your eyes turn to be like. Let me draw this. Your eyes turn to be like this. It's like emoji. Have you seen this before? Yeah, this is your okay. This is your eyes. It yeah, it's it's similar as here. So here is your eyes. Here's your um eyeballs, eyeballs, and then yeah, it looks like you're smiling. And then the the lower part of this character, this guy here. It means you feel very good and you feel very relaxing and comfortable. Okay, there's a this is Chinese Chinese four character words that we say. Uh, it really means that right now you are so you feel so relaxed. Okay, you feel so relaxed and your eyes are like this smiling. That means you are laughing. Okay, you are laughing. And、not necessarily in a negative way, like you are laughing at somebody. It can just, in, you know, laugh in general because you are happy, okay? Because you are happy. It can also be a smile. So, yeah, all kinds of smile, laugh. You can.、Uh, it's this character. You can use this character, okay? 四百八十二，校长，校长，校长 is the headmaster. Or the principal, the principal. Is that right? Yes, principal. Or the、uh, the school president. Okay, the first character, Xiao, it means school, school. And then Zhang, Zhang means head or captain. Okay, the school captain, the principal. 四百八十三，些，些，些 means some. Some or several, several. Okay. For example, you may see this a lot. You may see this 一些，一些 means some, some. Okay. 四百八十四，鞋，鞋 means shoe, or shoe. <coughs> Excuse me, or shoes, shoes. The this part, the left part of this character, it means leather. That means. Type this down. Is it g? G. Let's see here. Yeah. So this character right here it means leather, leather. And then this character, imagine there are two, two soil, double soil. Let's say two, two here. It means soil or earth, earth, soil. So double soil. Lots of there are lots of soil. 
on your on 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 this leather that makes your shoes shoes. Okay, 鞋四百八十五鞋鞋 means to write to write to write characters to write words. We say 写字写字写字 See here, 写字 your your writing for okay 写字四百八十六，谢谢，谢谢。This one is easy. So when you say you when you, when you want to say thank you, this means thank you. When when you want to say thank you in Mandarin Chinese, you say 谢谢 We can also say 多谢，多 means a lot. Okay, thanks a lot. This is not hard to understand. But what about this one? 感谢，感 means to feel, right? So if you say this. Um, it's it sounds more, it sounds deeper. Like you are more sincere, more sincere. So you can say, uh, you can say, I, 我感谢我父母 your parents. You know, in that case, your parents will feel more. You are more sincere to say that, not just hey, thanks for raising me up. There,、uh, they can feel they can yeah. In this case, you can they cannot feel like you are so sincere. But if you say 感谢 is more sincere, yeah. But if you just you know, um, when you go to a cafe and you buy a coffee and then you say thanks, you don't have to say 感谢 That would be too much. Okay, 四百八十七新新新 means new new 新 And what about next one? 四百八十八新闻闻 means to listen. Listen. Okay, there's another listen. It's called 听 Yes, but this one is also listen or heard. Okay, I've heard. Okay, this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Because look at this character. 儿 There's a 儿 inside of this door. 儿 means what does that mean? 儿 Right. Ears. Right. Ears. Ears. Um, you are listening something. Through this door, listen, and then this listen something new. That will be news. Okay, 新闻 means news. 四百八十九新鲜新鲜 Okay, the two characters, both characters, they are on the first tone. 新鲜新鲜 means fresh, fresh. How do we know it? 新 means new. As we just learned, and then Xian, look at this character. This part is fish, right? Yu, fish, and then this part is sheep, like lamb. So lamb, and、uh, lamb and fish, food, right? Fresh food. Okay, new food, fresh, fresh. 四百九十信，信。He means to believe. To believe. You're right. You're right. You ask me what's the difference between the this one, between this one, 相信 and the other one, or just one character. 相信 is more like to trust. To trust somebody is stronger. Okay. Or in if you only have one character, like right here. It means to believe something is true or not. Okay. For example, we say 信不信，信不信 It means believe it or not. We don't say 相信不相信 You trust me or not? Okay. That would be too much. Yeah. We just say this 信不信 So in this case, you can remember in this way. 信 It is only one character. It means to believe. Okay. It's you feel less stronger, but 相信 the previous one, two characters together, it means to trust somebody or not. It's more, it's stronger. 四百九十一，星期，星期 means week. Okay, 星期一，嗯、um, ，week one, Monday. Well, you don't say week one in English.、Um, for Monday, for Monday, of course. Yeah, we just remember 星期一，星期二。Tuesday, 星期三 Wednesday, and then then to the 星期日
星期日 is Sunday. Okay, we say 星期日 or 星期天，星星期日 or 星期天 ，they're same. 星期天 ，Okay, both of them it means both of them they mean Sunday, Sunday, 星期日 or 星期天 ，Okay. 四百九十二，行李箱。行李 means baggage, baggage, and then 箱 means box, baggage box, suitcase, suitcase. 四百九十三，姓。姓 means surname or your family name, your family name, surname. 姓。First part, this left part, 女 okay, right, female, and then. 生 it means student or like young person. So 女生 we say 女生 it means girl, girl, little girl, 女生 not that little but girl. Yeah, definitely not, not like woman yet. 女生 means girl, and then we put them together as one character. It means surname. Okay. You ask the girl surname, surname. 四百九十四，四百九十四，兴趣，兴趣，兴趣 means interest, interest, ah, interest. Okay, there we go. Or hobby, hobby, hobby. First character, Xing. This one comes from Gao Xing. Gao Xing means happy, and then Qu, Qu, Qu means interest, interesting, and then you are happy, and then interesting. Together, the interest or your hobby, your hobby. Okay, 四百九十五，熊猫。You gotta remember this one if you learn Mandarin Chinese. Because this is like the symbol of China, where all kinds of Chinese re- related things. Xiong Mao is panda, panda. Yes. Okay, the first character Xiong, it means bear. Okay, and the second character Mao, we know that's Mao, cat. So bear, cat, panda. Okay, you might want to say, yeah, it's better. To be the other way around, like cat bear, that will make more sense. But I know I also wonder this question: panda, why is bear a cat? It should be Mao Xiong. But if you say that, it's wrong. Careful. 四百九十六，休息，休息 ，to rest, to rest. Oops. To rest. 休 It means, yeah, to rest, to take a break. Xi, xi also means to take a break. Together to rest. 四百九十七，需要，需要 ，need, need. Again, both characters they mean need, both of them. So we put them together as a word. 需要 ，need. 四百九十八，选择，选择 ，to choose，to choose， 选择 ，to choose，OK、okay.。四百九十九，学生，学生，学生 means student， 学 to study， 反正生 ，it can mean student by the way as a noun，study student，student， 五百，学习。Okay, this one is easy. To study, to study. 学 means to study, and then 习 again also means to study. Thanks for watching. I know in this video we have we have covered thirty、um, words because in the previous video, from from the last video, I only did twenty words for some reason. So thanks for watching. Bear with me. Keep learning Chinese. And then I will see you in the next video.